If you've been thinking about trying out the Home Chef meal delivery kit service, stay tuned. Our box just showed up. We're going to be opening it up today. Well, what's going on guys? My name is Jason with ReviewMeals.com and today we are going to be doing an unboxing of the Home Chef meal delivery kit service. Now, this just showed up. I have not received one of these before. I've never opened this up. Still sealed. So we're going to be experiencing this box unboxing together. I haven't arranged everything or anything like that. So it's going to be a fun surprise for us. So first thing to point out, pretty light um, compared to some of the other uh, meal delivery kits that are, that are a little heavier, packed with maybe a little extra ice. Um, this is pretty light, so I think you're not going to have a lot of problems picking this up, carrying it from the do front doorstep. So going to go ahead and open it today. Um, I'm opening it with a screwdriver because the last video I did of this, I used one of my wife's nice, uh, nice cooking knives and well, now I'm using a screwdriver. So less efficient, but we know who won that. All right. So we're just going to pop it on open here. All righty. So as is the case with most meal delivery kits, it starts off with some lovely paperwork. First thing we've got is, hi, open me for delicious deals. I'm gonna assume this is some coupons. And then we've got our recipe cards. So looking at these, they're about the same size as most of the recipe cards. On the front, you've got the, uh, the name of the meal, cook time. This is pretty cool. This is not on a lot. Uh, how often, how quickly you should cook it. So cook within five days. Looks like two of them are five days, one of them six days. Another something, another two things actually, another couple of metrics they put in here that I haven't seen before. A difficulty level, easy, easy, and intermediate, and then a spice level. Not spicy, spicy, not spicy, spicy. All right, so on the front, they've got um, what comes in your box, and then they've got what you are gonna need from your personal stuff. Um, and so if you check out our full review of Home Chef, we break all that down, but for these, it looks like Again, just your basic olive oil, salt, pepper, cooking spray, olive oil, salt, pepper, and olive oil, salt, pepper, cooking spray. And it also tells you the pans that you're going to need as well. And on the back, you've got, just like with most of these, you've got uh, your instructions, pictures, broken down. One thing I like uh, already, I can see these are bullet pointed. So a lot of the other companies use like paragraphs, and if you're kind of looking at the recipe card, cooking, going back, you can kind of get lost at where you were uh, in the paragraph. I've actually already like skipped steps and things like that. So pretty cool to see that they've done this this way. Kudos to them for that. So in this box, we've got the pork tenderloin marsala, the lemon herb buer blanc, blanc chicken, not French. I think that's French again. Those words get me every time and Al Pastor Pork Tacos. That's the one, if you're curious, that I'm most excited about. So, let's get a little more stick in the box. Wow, this feels like a pillow. This is super comfy. Apparently it comes with a free pillow. It's not actually a pillow. All right, first ice pack. Good news, this is nice and frozen. We live in Las Vegas, 100 degrees today. Um, it's a little later in the day, so this thing's probably been driving around in a FedEx truck for a while, and uh, still good to go. So if you're not gonna be home when the meal delivery kit shows up, you probably got some time to get there before anything goes bad. So great to see. And uh, piece of cardboard, cool. All right, so now I'll just give you a quick look in here, see what I'm seeing. So it looks like I'm seeing some individual bags. Oh yeah, okay. So each meal looks to be in an individual bag, a uh, nice little Ziploc bag. I've seen some of these meal delivery kits before where everything's just kind of tossed in a box, which looks kind of cool. It's great if you're taking like an Instagram photo, but when you go to make the meal, you kind of got to pick through and figure out what to go in there. So this makes it a little bit easier. Um, so you've also got here, we've got the, uh, the label, Al Pastor uh, Pork Tacos, contains wheat. Don't worry, we're gonna open these up in a minute, but let's just see kind of what else is in the box. Here's our next one. We've got pork tenderloin marsala. Contains milk. And then we've got the lemon herb blah, 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 chicken, which also contains milk. So, got another piece of cardboard in here, and then it looks like we've got a couple more ice packs, and we've got our proteins. So, ice pack, ice pack, frozen solid, great to see. And then we've got another nicely not sealed bag. 
of our proteins. So we'll look, um, we'll look at our proteins here first, just real quick. That's the rest of the box. Um, a lot of good cushioning in here, real cold. Um, makes me feel pretty calm, and especially living somewhere where it gets to be 120 degrees and where I can't always be home to snag this delivery. And sometimes the delivery guy doesn't like to ring the doorbell because maybe he thinks it's fun. I'm not sure, but either way, this makes me confident to know that this stuff's gonna stay fresh in case I can't get to it right away. So, let's look at our proteins real quick. We've got our pork tenderloin medallions. These things look real nice. Still, still, still nice and cold, that's fantastic. Uh, ground pork, and we've got our chicken breast fillets. Again, these are separated from the rest of the meals, which um, I don't know a ton about food safety, but my wife does, and getting these things mixed with some of this when they're not cooked is very dangerous. So props to the company for keeping us safe. So those are our proteins. So let's go ahead now and uh, break into one of these bags here. We're gonna start with the lemon herb blah blah chicken. And so we're gonna open it up here. Ah, you can already start to smell some freshness. We've got baby bells and you know what's nice is some of the other meal delivery kits that I've seen, you know, you'll see this in like a bag. It doesn't look like something you get from the grocery store. This looks just like the mushrooms I would go buy from the grocery store. Green beans. We've got some uh, lemon gar garlic herb epicurean butter, some chicken demi glace, cream cheese, and a couple things of butter here. So real simple meals here. Um, one thing I like again, a lot of this stuff looks like just like what you get from the grocery store. Everything's labeled, even the stuff that they've kind of packaged, you know, chicken demi-gloss, concentrate, this is here as well. So, simple meal, everything's organized. Um, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. So we'll pack that one up, slide it over here, and we'll save the Alpha Store tacos for last. So, pork tenderloin marsala. All right, we're gonna pop this one open. Again, this looks like just real fresh produce. And we've got some uh, Baby Bella mushrooms, again, looking just like the package you get at the store. Um, you got your garlic here. Now, something cool about this that I'm already noticing is I uh, got a meal delivery kit last week and they had sent garlic, but the garlic was still in the, you know, whatever the garlic package is called. So you had to break it open, peel it, do all that. This is already ready to chop up. So I'm, I'm not lazy, but I like to save time where possible. And so it's nice to see that they've gone ahead and done that for us. And then we've got here some Marsala wine, which no idea what that is, but it looks like it probably tastes good, and I'm gonna figure that out. And uh, it's more of the demi gloss concentrate and some more butter. So again, comparatively to some of the other um, meal delivery kits I've gotten, way fewer ingredients, right? And that makes me happy because um, when you have fewer ingredients, it's a little bit simpler of a cooking process. You're not you know, pulling out 14 pans, nine cutting boards, 35 knives, and whatever else you need to get it done. You know, this is a lot simpler. And you know, I honestly also think that sometimes the, the best flavors and the best meals come in simplicity. So um, I'm liking this so far. We are gonna do, by the way, a full review on Home Chef after we've had these meals and been able to kind of dig into it where we go into price, options, all this good stuff. So. Make sure you check out below, we've got the link to that. Um, and then also, we're gonna be cooking some of these meals, doing some videos um, of ourselves doing that. And it's gonna be a lot of fun because you've got me who's a very fairly inexperienced cook, um, and then my wife who's a, uh, you know, was a professional chef for, for a long time. Um, and so we're gonna kinda work together so you're gonna get some of the great tips of, you know, how to do it the right way. And then you're gonna get to watch me make, you know, the moronic mistakes um, so that you don't end up making them. So, uh, pretty cool. If you're interested in that, hit the subscribe button down below and, uh, and join us for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, last one we've got here, again, is the Al Pastor Pork Tacos. I'm going to pop this one open. Again, I'm loving this. I'm loving this Ziploc bag, right? Um, I've seen some come in, like, uh, brown paper bags, which is cool because it's still separated, but after a while, sitting in the fridge, Paper bags get a little bit uh, get a little bit soggy, and I've seen some where it's just all tossed in the box, which again looks cool for the Instagram. But because I don't do Instagram, you know, it just adds a little more time to the cook. And and for me, you know, I just would prefer the simplicity. So 
go ahead and dig in here. This is a massive pepper. I like it. Real cool. Um, I don't know what this is. This looks like it's pineapple. So this is the first thing I'm seeing that's not labeled. Um, I'm guessing based off of the uh, three ounces of pineapple chunks. So this one's pretty easy to figure out. Um, would have been cool if they labeled it, but it's fine. You can kind of figure that one out pretty easily. Uh, you got some crispy jalapenos here in a little bag. Got a cute little bulb onion here. A lime. What looks to be, this might be like tomato paste or a salsa. Again, this one's also not labeled. Um, tomato paste. All right, look at that. We're getting good at this. Uh, chipotle seasoning, nice and labeled. There we go. And again, garlic cloves, ready to go, ready to chop. And then we've got the tortillas here and they've got, yeah, this is nice. They've got some nice, like they're not hard, they're not going nuts, anything like this. So, um, you know, great to see. So those are the three meals we got. Again, the, the delivery option that we got was the three meals with the, um, for two people. And like I said, everything came, it's nice and cold. Everything looks nice and fresh. Um, so, you know, if you've been thinking about trying HelloFresh, I definitely recommend staying tuned and checking out our, um, our full review that's coming soon. And uh, if you want to try it, we got links below with some coupons and some great stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up because my dog is currently thrashing a toy over there, which you can probably hear because it is his dinner time. Um, he won't be having this, but anyways. Uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for joining me. Again, my name is Jason with ReviewMeals.com. Have a great day.